All right, guys, let's see how we can monitor our containers using uh, Prometheus, Grafana and uh, C Advisor. In order to start uh, the monitoring, we'll be using containers. So here is our um, Docker Compose file. We have one uh, PHP container exposed on port 8070 and this is our uh, local directory uh, where we can change our files and it's uh, uh, then mounted inside of the container. In the docker file we are using the COI version of PHP, nothing fancy. Then uh, we would like, with the help of uh, C Advisor, so we are loading up external image uh, of C Advisor, to be able to monitor uh, special volumes in our system. And so again we are mounting uh, in runtime uh, via bind mount our uh, local directories to container directories uh, so that uh, the C advisor can monitor those. At a later stage we'll be using uh, Prometheus and again um, it will depend on the C advisor and we'll have a special configuration so that it can scrape all the data from the uh, C advisor. Uh, so this is the uh, configuration of uh, Prometheus. Uh, it's nothing uh, special, we are just uh, targeting the C Advisor internal container port. Here is the configuration we just uh, saw and uh, we are uh, binding this configuration inside of the container. And on top we have uh, Grafana, which we start on port uh, 3000. Okay, that's the uh, basic configuration. And let's now start those uh, services. We go to the terminal and we type uh, docker uh, compose up and as you can see all the services are started I've already downloaded uh, and built those images so you will need a little bit to wait probably and since we are not uh, seeing errors uh, we see that Prometheus is running uh, C Advisor is uh, running and uh, Grafana also is uh, uh, running let's now see those uh, services in our uh, browser we will start with our uh, PHP container to check whether it's working. So we'll be browsing port 8070. And uh, this is the information in our uh, PHP file. Actually, we have it here. So our local container is working. Then we'll go to the C Advisor container on port 8090. And we see here that uh, the C advisor is also working and it's collecting uh, data from the system. So we see the uh, usage of the CPU um, and the memory displayed in a nice graph. Uh, we can see also on the Docker containers and uh, we can see similar information uh, for each of the containers. Next, we'll check the Prometheus. So we'll go to port 9090. In the status configuration, we see our uh, configuration here that uh, we are connected with the uh, C advisor. From the status targets uh, here in the Prometheus, you can see all the targets you're uh, scraping data from. And so here we are scraping from a C advisor. Of course, you can have uh, multiple targets which you can list inside of the Prometheus here uh, configuration, so you can monitor uh, different uh, containers uh, this way. On the graph, we can use uh, the language of uh, Prometheus in order uh, to query uh, our data. We can even try the experimental React graphical user interface. So let's say that we use this information here. We would like to uh, get the total transmit bytes from the container and we're specifying exactly the PHP container and we would like to collect everything with an interval of one minute. So we execute this uh, query and then when we click on the graph, we'll see the graph produced uh, by uh, this expression here. So right now, if we go to our uh, PHP service and let's run it, we should be able, if we reduce the time of monitoring of the query, uh, to see that there is a traffic. So we just generated traffic. As you can see, we need to manually uh, refresh uh, the graph in order to see uh, the generated uh, graphic. 
so for this reason we will be using uh, the dashboard of uh, Grafana now it's time to check uh, the Grafana on port 3000 and here we see that we need to log in we will use the default admin admin and uh, we'll skip the generation of new password for now uh, here uh, we are inside of the Grafana uh, dashboard and the first thing we will need to do is to configure our data sources here we'll be connecting to the Prometheus and uh, I'll be using the browser connection uh, this is the port uh, where we are browsing the Prometheus as you can remember this is localhost on 1990 and then I've set up the uh, scrape and query interval for five seconds you can adjust those defaults as you like we'll click save and test and uh, we see that the data source is working we can go and uh, either manually create uh, dashboards or import uh, certain predefined dashboards so I'll go and import one if we go to Grafana dashboards uh, we can browse uh, uh, different dashboards uh, so you can choose uh, uh, whatever you uh, prefer the thing is that uh, when you like certain dashboard the way it looks like you can copy its uh, dashboard ID and here in the import just uh, paste the, the ID and click on load and I already have imported it I'll override mine so that's the uh, dashboard and actually we can see our uh, network traffic here so if we choose our uh, PHP container uh, we'll be able uh, to monitor its usage if we would like we can also change uh, the time uh, this graphics is updated uh, so now let's say every minute we would like uh, to update uh, this data and for in particular we can edit the traffic here and uh, change uh, for example on one minute uh, to show the metrics what is also interesting is that uh, if you can remember uh, the syntax of this data here is uh, exactly the same that uh, we had uh, here in the uh, Prometheus uh, so uh, you can compose uh, queries in this language and then uh, the Grafana will collect the data at a specific interval of time and uh, display those nice uh, graphics so right now uh, we are able to apply uh, the changes and uh, here uh, again uh, we should be able uh, to see only from the PHP uh, container uh, the traffic if we uh, refresh and make a request uh, very soon we should be able uh, to see the changes uh, here in the graphic as you can see displayed nicely you can uh, configure also alerts and actions which can be done uh, depending on the uh, events which are happening inside of this uh, dashboard all right guys i hope you enjoyed the information and now you can have a much easier time in monitoring your uh, containers uh, metrics so if you enjoyed the information you can uh, subscribe to the channel